<laughs> I don't know what I'm going to say. All right, so here we go. This is Riley. This is longboard technology, and we're breaking it down on the longboard press. I'm going to hand it over to David, and he's going to fill you guys in on how to make the ultimate longboard. All right, so I've uh, gotten a lot of requests to make a video tutorial on how to make one of these wooden longboard presses. And these presses are actually um, a concrete and wood compound press, or they can be made as just a male-female wood press. They're very similar to a, a dim press, which is a, a, ma a male-female foam press. But these are, are male-female wood presses, and they're, and they're very good for Baltic birch. Um, so I always start with I always start with my baseboard, the baseboard that you're going to build a press onto. So you can see this press is here. I've got let's take it close right here. So the baseboard is this press is this piece of wood that's completely solid the whole way down. Um, if you look um, for the rest of the board, we got um, let's see we got this transitional pieces right here. We got the wedge here. We've got the flat of the tail here, another transitional piece, and then right here we got concave, and in the center we've got the, the, the center of the platform. And that's how these, these presses are made out of pieces of wood. You start with blocks of wood. So let me, let me move the camera over here. So these two presses were male and female versions of each other. When I made them, so you've got this angle here and this angle here, these, these two angles were made from a single block of wood that was cut in half. And then, uh, and then one side was put here, one side was put here. The concave was done the same way. I split a piece of wood on the table saw, one side becomes the male, and one side becomes the female. And uh, same thing right here with these, uh, with these transition pieces. So it's a male and a female. It's all constructed with, with blocks. So I've got a flat block, a transition block, another flat block in the center with two side blocks and concave, transition block, wedge block. So whenever I start actually working on the board, I start plotting out where the blocks are going to be. And so I cut up my baseboard here. I cut it a little bit oversized because I can trim it down once I've finished everything. But I start off, I give it extra space on the front. I measure out the length of wood I'm going to be using. The, the length of wood I'm going to start with is, I'm going to use to press the boards, is going to be 40 inches long, so that's what these lines are marked as. And so all I've got to do is start plotting off where all the blocks are going to sit and where the edge of the concave is. And then I just have to start with, with pieces of wood, the right thicknesses, and I can start cutting them down. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to uh, start measuring and deciding how I'm going to... Um, I'm going to make this. I'm actually going to make a modification of these two presses here for this third one. So maybe I'll, I'll just record it and maybe you'll see and catch on what's, what's going on. So here we go.
All right, so I've just finished marking this out, but I think I like. I made a few mistakes. Um, I didn't have the presses lined up. I didn't have my, my references all, all worked out quite. So I had to redo some lines a little bit, but you know, it's all part of it. Um, yeah, if you, you might have noticed, but a lot of what I'm doing is just shortening the wheelbase and I'm bringing in more room for a larger nose and more room for a larger tail. Um, it's going to have a little bit of a kick on the back. I'm, I'm going to put reference lines for that because that's going to involve more blocks over here. So here's the, uh, here's the deck itself, the platform. And this is where your, uh, your feet go right in these little pockets here on these transitions. So your heel and your toe were actually more on flat. It's, it's, it's really interesting, but um, there's going to be a few more tweaks when it comes to the thicknesses of the plies or of the, of the blocks that I'm using. But um, that's basically how the construction starts. You notice I stood on it to make sure that, it, that my feet were at a comfortable width, that, um, that it was going to do what I wanted. And, uh, you know, that, and uh, I was just imagining the way it's going to feel because I'm very familiar with the way that the, the, the shape I'm making into it. So, so yeah. Um, so the next step is going to actually be cutting out the blocks and placing them on onto this um, onto this piece. Yeah, it all it all it all fits together just blocks. It's like a it's like preschool. <laughs> and you know, and like the board here. Like everything we do. Like everything. <laughs> um, there we go. So if we're looking at the edge of this edge of this right here, what I'd actually do is I'd, I'm going to be cutting a big circle out of this here, and I'm going to take that circle and I'm going to try and uh, I'm going to tangentially join it here and here, and that's going to be our our shape of our uh, of our transitions and that that shape can just be cut extruded like right right across and uh, that's all it takes to, to make this thing this is actually going to be a uh, a concrete board press so we're not making a male female we're making one side and we're using it as a mold for concrete on the other side so so it's all about the concrete it's all about the concrete and that'll be that'll be its own thing but yeah we'll We'll follow up and we'll do a second video once we're further along. But hopefully we've shown you a little bit of insights as to uh, how this is actually done. When, uh, how the magic. How the magic happens. So Cool. Yeah, so we'll uh, be seeing you around. Uh, make sure you uh, comment, like, and subscribe, especially if you want to see the next video. So Longboard Technology over and out.